Micronutrients are vitamins and minerals that are essential to a healthy diet, and every year millions of children die from micronutrient deficiencies. This is a treatable problem, but over 4 billion people in the developing world live in areas at risk. So imagine how expensive it would be to supplement everyone in the high-risk areas for all of the critical nutrients. The cost gets completely out of control. The organizations fighting this problem have limited resources and need to determine which areas most need which interventions. So how can they do this? Currently, the only option is to use tests that cost up to $60, which is reasonable in places like the United States, but way too expensive to be practically used in the developing world. To add on to this, testing methods require that samples be shipped refrigerated to labs that are often thousands of miles away. This adds logistical challenges and additional expense to an already very expensive process. There is currently no cost-effective way to test nutrition status, so nutritional interventions are often misguided, inefficient, or just non-existent. We need better ways to detect micronutrient status to help break the cycle of poor health, economic loss, and continued poverty. I'm working on a solution. My lab is developing a test for micronutrients that will cost just $2 per test, require no expensive equipment, and produce results in just a few hours. We're doing this by engineering harmless bacterial cells to produce different pigments based on the presence of different nutrients. Bacteria have proteins that naturally regulate their own nutrient levels, and as bioengineers, we can harness this cellular machinery and use it to control pigment production. This type of genetic engineering has been compared to the design of electrical circuits. Different pathways can be switched on and switched off based on the presence or absence of different external signals. So in this system, when the blood samples added, the external signal sensed, and the cells will switch on either the purple, red, or orange pathway to indicate whether the patient has a low, borderline, or healthy level of the nutrient. We've demonstrated that this can work to detect zinc levels, and the platform that we're using can be expanded to test for other nutrients at an equally low cost. I had the unique opportunity to talk with over 100 people performing nutrition testing, and they confirmed that this technology could dramatically improve diagnosis and treatment of micronutrient deficiencies. Beyond just reducing costs, it essentially removes logistical challenges, as diagnoses can be performed on-site without any sample shipping or refrigeration required. This increased diagnostic capacity will lead to increased treatment efficiency, which will ultimately lead to more effective programs, more people helped, and more lives saved.